Hello, beautiful soul. I hope uh, you're well. Uh, this morning, I have another uh, little um, guided transmission I'd like to share with you. And I think it's um, it's a good timing because, um, you know, the uh, Christmas period is coming and we are probably all going to have the pleasure to celebrate this uh, this moment with members of our family, of our friends, of our close, close ones. And as you know, most of you, probably, uh, we are sometimes a little bit anxious um, because, well, you know, uh, things might be said that will create conflict or frictions within families. And even if we all love each other, you know, sometimes, if we do, <laughs> um, but even then, uh, sometimes, you know, frictions happen and we get angry with it, we get uh, discouraged, we get uh, anxious, uh, you know, all kinds of feeling can emerge in that uh, period. Because close contact with people in general is always a challenge, but with our families, it's often worst because we are in a moment of, um, of intensity and also with people who come and, you know, sort of uh, clicks our buttons. <laughs> so um, uh, to give you a little bit of back background, uh, recently I've decided to work with um, a method which is called the Nonviolent Communication by uh, Marshall Rosenberg. And this is a very, very, I mean, I invite you to go and explore that, uh, that method of communicating in a nonviolent way, which is very, very interesting. And I felt the urgent need to um, acquire this method and practice it with my close ones in order to um, diminish the sense of anxiety, of guilt and anger I often had in um, when I, had, I was in com direct communication or presence with certain members of my family, of my family in general. So um, I wanted to actively uh, try to apply this method in my life in order to, uh, you know, have a um, better relationship with the, the people around me, not just my family, but also with, you know, just to have like more harmonious, um, yeah, rapports or, or, or relationships. And the nonviolent communication uh, method uh, focuses very much on um, being expressing what you really feel, your real needs um, in, a, in, a, in an authentic way and a non-judgmental way and in a way that is about how you feel rather than accusing the person about being something that you dislike or whatever. It's just about like, you know, um, how you're feeling towards the situation or what the person says. And, and it's, it is said to be helpful to sort of take out the, the attack that we might um, create as a, as a way to react to what the person is telling us. But I still really don't know a lot about nonviolent communication. And this is why I ordered two books recently. And unfortunately, maybe it's not a coincidence since this whole planet is in ascension and people are working on themselves very hard and changing their whole lives. These books, uh, well, at least one of them, the sort of practical manual that was going with the main Rosenbo Rosenberg um, book was in back order. And I was very frustrated because, uh, you know, uh, Christmas is coming and I was really look looking forward in these last weeks to, you know, work on this method in order to be like this really, um, this sort of more sane person when I would be um, communicating with my family in Christmas period. But life is the way it is and we have to welcome things in a you know unexplainable way and I didn't receive these books and perhaps I won't receive them before Christmas so that's okay uh, but I have to say that yesterday I felt a little bit anxious I was thinking to myself oh my god you know hi how am I gonna handle again you know the anger the anxiety the the despair that sometimes I have when I'm in, you know, in communication with family members and how is this Christmas going to be again? And I don't want it to be like a, 
you know, a heavy, low vibe type of event. I want this to be joyful and, you know, my parents are aging and I wish this to be a moment of joy or of, of shared uh, complicity together rather than, you know, just hitting on each other's head. And um, so I was a bit anxious about that. And this morning I got this beautiful uh, guided uh, transmission after I did my uh, morning meditation. And I felt like sharing part of it. I mean, I, I'm not sharing the whole part, but because the first part is related more to towards me. But the second part I found I found really interesting, and I think that perhaps it could be a, of help um, to some of you. Um, no pretension to save anybody, but just to share something that uh, might be uh, inspiring or resonate with you uh, in these moments of intensity, emotional intensity related to Christmas uh, gatherings and family. Uh, reunions and everything so i'd like to share that um that little transmission with you and see if that um somehow talks to you so here it is you need not to worry about spending time with your family in the upcoming days in you now lives the wisdom of knowing who you are and so this anchors you in your body and in your heart where you can feel what comes up and observe it. Then you can naturally express the emotion you feel or thought. You can do it benevolent, benevolently with respect for yourself and the other by, and this is the important part, expressing the feeling, not acting the feeling. There is a fundamental difference between both. The first liberates you, the second binds you to the energy of the other with, low vibra with lower vibrations and hurt you both. You do not need to feel guilty anymore because you can simply say and not act. I feel angry because of dot dot dot. You say it calmly and with benevolence. You transmute it and have not hurt the other and inflicted guilt on yourself. Gratitude. So that was that little uh, short transmission. Um, just want to briefly comment on that and, and, and make a really emphasize that aspect of, um, you know, um, acting the emotion. Uh, and I would like to take a, perf a, a very specific example. Let's say a member of your family um, tells you something that hurts you. Um, and something you've heard all your life and that really it just triggers you like totally you know it just pushes your button and you're ready to like jump to the upper, other person's throat and be in anger and when that person says that to you you have two options either you react and usually in anger that will create a great amount of pain um, to the other and to yourself it will disrupt the whole harmony in the situation. And I don't know if everybody's in that type of um, um, reactions, but personally, I do have that pattern that after I, I, I express anger or react in an angry way, I immediately develop a, a, a really deep, desperate sense of guilt um, about, you know, if I've hurt the person or that I sort of disharmonize their relationship or whatever. And the guilt is really, 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 really despairing for me. It really hurts me. So it is a feeling that I do not want to feel anymore because it's the most incredibly low vibe feeling guilt is. And anger is not so wonderful either. And it breaks the good harmony, you know, the situation. So the other option you have and that's the one I'm choosing. And hopefully I'll be able to apply it in reality because it's not going to be that easy. That second option is to actually express your feeling. So let's say, I don't know, that person tells you, oh, you're irresponsible or you're whatever. Then you can say either to say, oh, you're always telling me these really, you know, like mean things and you're irresponsible too and you're just projecting your shit on me and... That would be the angry way to react. Or you could say in a very calm and, and very heartfelt and go in your, like, you don't need to close your eyes, but like go into your body, go into your feelings and just see how you feel. And you, you're going to see that behind that anger, there's probably some sadness and rejection or whatever. And just get in contact with that and just 
Say to the person gently, benevolently, and they will not be used to that, trust me, is, you know what? What you just said about be, me being irresponsible, for example, that really hurts me. Like, it makes me sad because, you know, perhaps at some point in my life I've been irresponsible, but I feel that right now I did a lot of work on that and I don't feel that irresponsible anymore and I don't think that's fair. And I'm saying to you, I'm saying this to you in a, in a, in a kind way, but you're really hurting me when you say that. I invite you to stop judging me in that way. It takes a lot of courage to just, you know, get past your anger and go there. And I think that's what that transmission was all about. It's just like transmuting that reactive anger to going into your body and your emotion, listening to it, identifying what the emotion is and expressing it gently and calmly and benevol benevolently. And I am absolutely convinced that the reaction will be different than usual. Perhaps the person will be um, very surprised, uh, will suddenly feel bad that they said that to you, or they, or perhaps they're going to react in fear or anger towards you, you know, because they'll feel they'll feel like this is not the usual stuff. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm 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 comfortable with like anger and fighting and. So they might send you some shit back to you. I mean, they might be nice and suddenly like realize how mean they've been and be nice to you, but they could also react in a very mean way. And if they do so, that's not your anger anymore. So you don't have to feel the guilt. Uh, it's their anger. And then you have two options again. Either you can just express how you feel. You can say, thank you for telling me how you feel, but now we're going to, you know, do each other our own things because right now I think we're in a bad vibe. So let's move on. Or you can just listen to the anger and not react to it. And that person's going to be feeling the, you know, the thing with it. It's going to be feeling either the guilt or the sadness or whatever, or more anger. And But your way of reacting might end up with time being an example, like an unconscious example of how the person could react as well. So by changing yourself, and your reactions or your your expression, you might end up having an effect on the other persons and the person might even change with time. So anyway, those are my little <laughs> um, transmission I wanted to uh, share with you and my little <laughs> reflections on this Christmas period relationship uh, thing. So I hope that you know, resonates with you or gives you help in these moments of uh, stress or anxiety or anger or or hopefully you'll have a beautiful Christmas with none of these things and you'll be able to, um, you know, transmute all the difficult things within yourself and just be kind and benevolent and everything's going to go well. So I wish you a beautiful day and take great care of yourself. Bye. Mm -hmm.